Hello, my name is Jason. I'm from Time Out Entertainment. I'm going to be walking you through some of the keypad features of the Quiz Express mobile keypad that is used when we play various game shows such as Quiz Express Interactive Trivia or the Infusion Game Show. So, in order for you to be able to get your mobile keypad, you need to go to www.buzzerpad.com. That's B-U-Z-Z-E-R pad.com. Once you go to buzzerpad.com on Safari or Google Chrome, you'll see a registration screen similar to this. Now, the first thing you need to do is put in the pin code. The pin code is different every time we play a game show. Until you see the live broadcast, you won't be able to know what the, what the pin code is for this week. So, wait for the live broadcast, look up in the top left hand corner of your TV screens and you'll find the pin code. Now, it's important that when you register as a team, you put in the venue that you want to represent. Now, you might say, I don't normally go to a pub or a club. Well, just nominate a venue that you would like to uh, represent in your local area. You cannot participate in a competition unless your team name consists of the venue you're representing and your team name. So as you can see here, I'm representing the Stanley Hotel, then a dash, and then Crazy Cats is my team name. When I'm ready, I press the go button. Once I'm registered, I'll get a message that pops up on my screen to let me know that um, my uh, keypad is, is ready and active. But you can also join midway through a game like I just did. Of course, it won't tell you that your keypad is active at that point because you've joined midway through the game. But you can join at any point in the game that you like. Now, let's say for example, okay, let's say there's no question running at the moment or I think there's a question running and I press the letter B. Or let's say I press the letter A. Or let's say I press the letter C. As you can see, each time it keeps saying your answer is ignored as the question is already closed. This is really important because what it's telling you is that your keypad is registered and it's connected and it's working because the game server is telling you the response it received. But it's telling you also it's ignoring that response because the question is closed. So sometimes you can be looking at the live broadcast and you can see the countdown clock has 10 seconds. But what in actual fact may have happened is the clock has already expired. The question is already closed. Because of your internet provider, you may have a longer delay. So it's really important that when you're watching the countdown clock, if it says five seconds, you buzz in, and then you see this error message, that's telling you, wait there, I must have a longer delay than five seconds. So the next question may be allow 10 seconds. And then if you allow 10 seconds and you don't get that message, then you know that roughly what your delay is and then every question, make sure you buzz in before you get to the countdown clock on that. So let's say, for example, um, we've got a question and it's running at the moment and I press the letter A. It comes up and says, we received answer A. So that tells me the clock, countdown clock is still ticking down, the question is still open, the game server received A and that's what I'm gonna be judged on, whether that's the correct answer or not. Once the countdown clock is gone, in this instance, as you can see, I saw a green tick, which tells me I got that answer correct. But let's say, for example, I happen to get the answer incorrect, and let's say I buzz in the letter B. I can see it says receive the answer B. But then I see the red cross. Now that tells me I got the answer wrong. Now there is something else you can also do. You can choose to not buzz in an answer. And then when the clock has expired, and the countdown is finished, eventually you'll see a message on your screen saying that there was no response received. Okay, so that tells you some of the enhancements of uh, the Quiz Express keypad, some of the features that uh, when you buzz in your response, you'll see that it was received. If you buzz in your response after the question is closed, you'll see a different response. And then you also see whether it's right or wrong. Now, just a couple of little things. If you look up in the top hand right hand corner, this tells you the pin number that you use and what your keypad number is. Over here, it tells you that you are connected to the Buzzerpad server, and it tells you your team name. Look, if sometimes you're in doubt and you're not too sure, you can press the back button. And then, as long as you don't change anything and you press the go button, the system will automatically connect you. But what you can't do is you can't midway through a game use somebody else's phone and log in as the same team name because you will get a new keypad number which will mean you'll get a new score. So you can't midway through a game change phones. 
it's important that you stay on the same phone throughout the whole game show. So if you need to, make sure you've got a charger close by. Other than that, have fun and enjoy playing the uh, game show. Bye for now.